Hi, so I thought I would do a what's new in my wardrobe video. I went through a really bad spell of just like not being able to get dressed. And it was one of those where I was just looking at my wardrobe and nothing was giving me inspiration, nothing was like sparking joy. But also a lot of the clothes that I had were just not like right for me or making me feel like happy and confident and like myself. Clothes are the best way to communicate who you are to others and also just to express yourself like they're a form of self-expression. And I just felt like I was not doing that. And so over the last couple of weeks, I have been listing some more of my personal stuff on my Depop and on my Isuko and on my finds. And I've been just refreshing my wardrobe. And so now I feel I'm definitely more at a place where I feel a lot more happy with my wardrobe and what I've got. And I feel more confident with everything that I just put on in the morning. And there are just some good outfits that I feel really confident and really just like myself in. What I find really helpful is when I do, I do like occasional TikToks of outfits that I've worn over the week, over the weekend, whatever. And I honestly just use them as a reference point. Whenever I'm like, right, what am I wearing today? I'll just watch that TikTok and just choose one that I feel like wearing that day. I am an outfit repeater and there is no shame in that. You're gonna be wondering why there is no bed sheets behind me. I've had the worst morning, maybe in my life, I think that maybe not getting into uni and going through clearing was, it's up there, but this morning was particularly shocking. I basically woke up and did my normal thing. Like I had breakfast. My boyfriend goes to the gym before he goes to work. So he left for the gym and I took the sheets off my bed and put on clean sheets. And I sat on my bed and I was just drinking a cup of coffee and I had the window open. And the window doesn't open like that, it opens like that. So we like push it open and then the air comes in like that. Anyway, I basically get covered in bird poo and I'm like, how? I'm indoors. And I look at the window and basically a bird had just done this massive mega monster all down the window. And because of the angle of the window and I'm guessing the bird was pretty high up, um, the just exploded all over my bedroom. It made it all over that wall, all over my lovely clean sheets, all over me, in my coffee, on the walls, on the carpet, on my lovely cowhide rug. So yeah, I basically was a bit like in disbelief. And also just like how much shit there was. Like it just was not a normal amount of bird poo. It was, oh, I was being tested. I was being tested this morning. So I started to like clear up the walls because I thought I don't want to like leave any markings I'm renting this property. And then I phoned my sister, like FaceTimed her and I was like crying but laughing and she was then crying and laughing as well. And I started to like clean up the little bits but I am like the most squeamish person ever. I hate body stuff and I hate, like I had four little half sisters and I've never once changed a nappy. I just, can't deal with feces. So I text my boyfriend like, come home now. And he came home and he was like, he just texted me when he was coming home, like, you just wipe the walls and I'll deal with the rest. And he was such a saint. He just, he was laughing, but he just kind of got on with it. And yeah, I had to wipe it off my mirror, my wardrobe, all of my bed, change the sheets again and wash the sheets that were already clean. So that was my morning. I am gonna go and buy some lottery tickets or like a scratch card later because surely, surely that has to be like major good luck. Like that is not normal. That amount of like feces, it was disgusting. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to, now it's like all cleared. I'm trying to forget about it. And I haven't posted on YouTube in like two weeks now. So I thought I would do like a what's new in my wardrobe video. This looks like a lot. And it is a lot, but I have been selling quite a lot as well recently. And I try and just do like a couple of things out a week and then like, I don't know, two new things a week. And it's never new. It's always gonna be secondhand or vintage or from a small business or whatever. I feel like a major hypocrite being like, look how much I'm consuming. But this is, this is what's been going on in my life. And I'm sure, I think also a big factor is that I have been applying for jobs and therefore, I've had a lot of spare time on my hands and I've been spending too much time on like Pinterest and TikTok and Depop. So um, I'm sure that when I start work, I will be a busy lady and I will not have as much time to think about my wardrobe and look at new things and get new inspo, I hope. Also, I'm trying to rein it in because the money, 
it's not moneying. A lot of this stuff, to be fair, was actually quite cheap. Not all of it. A lot of it was, though. Like, I feel like I've been smashing just, like, the lower tier stuff on, like, Depop and eBay and stuff. But some of it was a bit more expensive, but totally worth it. No regrets. Let's get into it. We're just going to start with this bag. I got this bag, and it is from Revision Store, and it's by Eleanor Butler-Jones, and I am obsessed with this bag. I'm obsessed. I kind of want it in every colour, but that's bad. And I don't need it in every colour. I also realised that having a bag that zips up is perfect for me because I am just really clumsy and careless by accident. So I think that, like, if I'm out and about, it's just good for me to have a zip. So now I'm trying to sell, like, all my bags that don't fully close because I just don't trust myself, especially in London. And I'm just obsessed with this bag. This was honestly one of my favourite purchases of all time. Next are these sunglasses. If you have the same for you page as me or follow the same people, you will have seen these Lexola glasses everywhere. And you know what? They're worth the hype. I'm obsessed with them. They're so nice. And I'm so grateful that Lexola even wanted to send me them. And I think the red was just a little bit funky, a little bit different and like different to any other sunglasses that I own. The shape is so cool and I am just obsessed. Next up is these. It's like cargos and a matching skirt and you can wear them together or you can wear them separately, but you buy it as like one thing. I got it on Fines um, and it's by Casper the label and I'm just obsessed. The material is so good. Like it's quite nice and thin in a way where I could wear it in summer and not get too hot, but also not like too thin. Like it's not at all see-through or anything like that. And they just sit so nicely. I kind of sized up in the bottoms. I got them in a 12. You buy like one thing and you can wear them separately all together. So that was great. I am into the skirt over trousers thing. I don't know if I can put it off as well as other people, but I do really like it. The next thing is a skirt. And to be honest, at first when it came down, I was like, oh, I don't know. I feel like the plaid tartan maxi skirts are having a big moment. I think it's all stem from those Chapova Luena. I think that's how you say it, skirts. Um, and obviously... The normal person of life cannot afford a skirt that expensive. So I feel like this is like the everyday man's Chipotle winner. Just like a wool tartan maxi skirt um, or midi skirt. But I don't like the way that midi skirts look on my legs at all. It's either mini or maxi and there's no in between for me really at the moment. And at first, yeah, this came down and I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And I saw someone saying that it reminds them of like... Um, Catholic school uniform whatever I don't care I think it's cute and I did try it on with this top and it looks cute and because it's a size up I kind of wear it low-waisted and I really like it so I haven't worn it yet but this is like I think the newest thing in my wardrobe this is a little I got that on Depop by the way and it was like I don't know I think it was like 30 quid this little skirt it's sort of like I don't know satiny I don't think it's full satin um, it's from New Look, but I got it on Depop for like, I don't know, £10. I wanted some satin midi skirts that were like a little bit longer than a midi skirt, because like I said, I don't like, like I don't like it when it's just below the knee, but I like it if it's like on the calf or a little bit lower. I'm trying to be a bit Zoe Kravitz inspired with this vibe that I'm sort of picturing in my head and I haven't worn it yet because this is, again, I think this came down a few days ago. And I kind of want to pair it with some, like, cute ballet flats and, like, a little vest top and see if I can pull off that look. It's not warm enough yet for me to even try it, so I'm going to wait, and then we'll see. If you're wondering why my hair looks so glamorous, it's because I got it um, cut yesterday. I never like how places blow dry my hair when I get it cut. I always feel like these little ringlets make me feel like William Shakespeare or something. I never know what to ask for. I usually just get, like an inch off the ends and then like get the front bits cut a little bit I don't know the next thing I am obsessed I am obsessed with this dress I posted a TikTok and a reel about how I went to the past trash pop-up I love pop-ups I love living in London I've been to so many pop-ups the first one I went to was the fines one and that was great I had such a good vibe there um I didn't pick up anything because I was trying to be a bit more frugal but then that's all just gone out the window and I've been to quite a few pop-ups since I've been here and I love it because I love shopping secondhand but even more so when you can see it in person and like feel it and even better try it on and there was a changing room at the past trash pop-up so I tried on a couple of things and I had a good time. It's such nice material it's like light and stretchy and it like sucks me in in all the right places it's like nearly a maxi just a little bit shorter so it's a perfect length for me 
split at the back so I can walk freely and I love it and I could layer things like underneath it I tried it on with like a little baby tee underneath and like a little vest underneath so that's the way I could sort of mix it up a bit and I honestly love it it has no labels in it it says it's a one so I, I do kind of think that it's probably a size too small for me but because it's stretchy I can wear it I am just a bit nervous about wearing it and like it ripping or something but if it does I can just get it tailored but I am obsessed with this and I am definitely going to go back to the past trash pop up because I loved it I loved it. I'm actually going to do these two together. So Girlfriend Collective reached out and they said that they wanted to gift me um, two things because I basically did a TikTok in summer last year raving about their skirt because I love their skirt. Like it's such a good staple piece. The material is amazing. It's got good compression, little shorts underneath and it's just a perfect black mini skirt and so they reached out and said that they wanted to send me some stuff so I chose these two unitards because I love a unitard you can dress them up you can dress them down they're just very versatile good for if you are a lady like me with juicy thighs and chafing is a real issue because that is a big priority in a lot of my wardrobe especially when it comes to like summer I'm always thinking about like will this prevent chafing or will it give me bad chafing if I'm hot in it that dress I am a bit worried about that dress because I know when it when I'm hot and I'm walking around in it it will be sweaty in between my thighs and I will be chafing but we'll deal with that at the time so yeah I chose these two unitards and I'm obsessed I got them in a medium and I'm so glad that I did because they are tight but in a good way like the compression's there this is the I think it's just called like the bike unitard in plum and it's divine I don't really have anything much in this color in my wardrobe so it's lovely and then i got this one which was the bar unitard so it's got like strappy um sleeves and it's just lush i love it and i wear it with this denim jacket so i got this diesel jacket on depop um i actually have been on a bit of like a jacket motive at the moment because i just had a lot of like big winter coats and then normally around this time of year, I'd kind of just wear hoodies, but that's not very like exciting. That's a bit boring and unimaginative. So I wanted some little jackets and this is perfect. The denim's like a little bit stretchy and it kind of sits just on my waist. So it's not like a long denim jacket and I feel very chic in it. I love it. I'm trying to think how much I paid for it. I think I paid 20 or 25. And Diesel's having a huge comeback. Not that this is like obviously D Diesel. Speaking of light jackets. This was another one I got at the past trash pop up. It's like khaki green zip up. I actually didn't realize it, don't, don't think it. Well, it does zip up, but it's tight. She is tight, so I will be wearing it open. It's got that sort of like um, biker collar that's like quite, quite hot right now. And yeah, what's the brand? Skunk Funk, what size is it? It definitely feels too small. Oh, it's an extra small. That will be why it does not zip up. It doesn't matter though, because I want to wear it open. Like the fun thing about zip up jackets is you can show your outfit underneath. And that's why I've been on a bit of more of a jacket thing. The next thing is a skirt. I got it on Depop and I just love a maxi skirt at the moment. And this material is really nice. It's like cottony, linen-y. So it's like lightweight and breathable. And it sits just below my belly button. So it's like mid to low rise. And the shape kind of goes out at the bottom and it's really pretty, so love that one um i got this peachy den set and i love it i got it in medium because peachy den medium is like a uk 10 and it's cute i've worn it a few times already um it's like a little cropped toppy thing bolero i think we're calling it bolero some people are just calling them sleeves but it's a bolero so it's like that and then you've got the little matching top underneath and it just is so cute and i love the little like blush color i think they call it hot sauce or something like that and it's so cute then i got these sleeves from nippy studios um i saw them like all over my instagram like um emily murphy and evie clark and Susie lola and people like that were wearing them and i did like it and i love how it goes like over the hands and there's like thumb holes i think that's such a fun element to it and like i wore it with my big blazer so you could still see it underneath and i just think it's cute i love khaki I think it kind of goes with my skin tone because I'm like olive skinned um, and it's so soft, so soft. And I got it in a medium. I'm always like, I always regret not getting the other size if that makes sense. Like I, in hindsight, I should just always order both the sizes, small and medium that I'm in between so I can choose when it comes down. But then I'm like, I just can't be bothered to part with the money. But I would love to see what the small look like on me, but I just need to not think about that. So I got 
this FC UK top after getting this FC UK top. I got this top from Island Vintage on Depop and it's just like an FC UK slogan tee so it's got like a funny cheeky little, this one says FCU kinky bugger um, and I just am obsessed with the fit of the top. It's like the perfect baby tee for me because it's not too cropped. See how it kind of sits like here so it's like the perfect baby tee for me like I don't want anything too cropped. And just like the shape and the cut, it's just everything I would want from a baby tee. So I had a look on Depop again to see whether there were any other colours or any other ones I wanted. And I saw this blue one and I thought it was so cute and I don't have anything like this colour or any other. I just have black and white baby tees, so this was perfect. This top, again, was from the past trash pop-up. It was the last thing I got. I got those three things together. The material is incredible. It kind of reminds me of a Skims top, but it was not skims prices thankfully it was only 18 pounds and it's just divine it's so flattering and i love it the next thing oh my gosh i got this top from paloma wool i love a sheer top especially in summer because i am a hot sweaty mess in summer so sheer is just it's really what i should be wearing um it's got like an eye on it but you can't really tell it's an eye when you're wearing it and i love it i think the color is so nice and it goes well with my skin tone it's a size medium and i now know that that is the right size for me because I have the Paloma Wall CD top in a small and it is tight. It's like a little bit too tight around my boobs. It doesn't really fit. So I'm toying with the idea of selling that even though I love that top. A majority of the time, the reason I sell things from my personal wardrobe is just because I don't like how it fits on me. Like I will always love the item, but like in hindsight, I'll regret not getting a different size or I would have seen a picture of me in it and been like, oh, it doesn't fit me quite well or it's not that flattering. So that's normally the only reason why I ever sell anything. But I love this top and this was a great, and it was expensive, Paloma Wall is expensive, but I have no regrets, like it's so nice. This top is from Fines again, and I'm obsessed with the color. I think boob tube bandeau tops are so cute. They are having their moment right now and they're gonna have their moment like all spring, summer and just forever and ever because they're just chic and they're cool. And this is like vintage old school. Topshop, I love purple. Purple's like one of my favorite colors. It's got some cute beading on it and I can't wait to wear this like in the summer with like a little denim mini skirt or some like long flowy trousers. I just, I love it. It's so nice and I got it on fines. The next thing is this ballet type leotard. It was just like a dancing leotard. I hate when bodysuit and leotards don't have like thong bottoms because they give you the worst VPL so I sort of have to like hoist it past that so it doesn't do that. The color is so nice, it's like a navy and I wore it with my black trousers and a suit jacket recently and it looks so good and it was 10 pounds, maybe eight pounds. It is a little bit tight but I like it and it's like low back, sexy. The last thing I wanna show in this haul is this gray maxi skirt. I have just been in a chokehold by gray maxi skirts recently, I don't know what it is and I wanna buy them all and now they're all coming up on my Depop suggested like for you things and I want to buy them all but I'm literally like I've got one two three how many more do I need oh no probably four if we're counting oh I haven't shown that yet one sec okay this is the last thing I'm going to show you it is a cargo skirt it's got like slits either side it's from Bella Vrana or Depop and it's super lightweight so flowy it's going to be like perfect this summer I've worn it a few times already I love it it is actually a size 14 but because it has a drawstring waist it fits and I mean like sizing is just such a myth across the board like it's so inconsistent so I sometimes size up on things and I'm like uh, it'll do or like but yeah it's such a nice color it's like super light gray I love all shades of gray 50 shades of gray that's a bit of me and so yeah so I guess I have four gray maxi skirts although I feel like this and this are totally different like a cargo maxi and like a regular maxi I don't know they're different it's different. I know that that was a lot of stuff, but I do feel so much better in my wardrobe just trying to get dressed now. Like, I feel so much more satisfied. I still have some more stuff coming that I bought on Depop recently. I had a good week of sales last week, and so we've just, we just had a little revolving door of secondhand clothing. And that's the way I like to do it. I'm basically at the moment trying to toy with what dresses in my wardrobe I'm gonna rent out and which I'm gonna sell because I was initially gonna rent them all out, but then I was like, surely the purpose of renting is to like lend things that you wanna keep and get some money in return for it. But actually, a lot of the dresses that I have, I kinda of wanna just sell them because I'm over it, or like, I don't know, they don't fit me right, or they're just from my mom's house and I haven't yet parted ways with them. So I've started to upload some of them 
on like my finds and on my depop um but i'm still just trying to figure out which i'm going to keep and which i'm going to rent out so that will be my next video hold tight and if you want to be reminded when that's out don't forget to click the subscribe button follow my instagram because i always post on there whenever i've done anything new on youtube or any new podcasts or anything like that and thanks so much for watching toodles